All right, we're back. If you didn't catch the introductory video showing the setup, you may wish that you had. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything right off the bat. I'm going to give you an opportunity to go back and watch it if you'd like. We're a bear man. Not just a bear. We're a dancing bear who longs to dance and see the world, take his craft, and spread joy. No, he doesn't know that. He doesn't know anything about joy. He just, he's a bear. But he does love to dance. And if we look at our personage, if I can put focus back on this window, um, well, we do come dressed. That's nice. We got some water and food and a spear, uh, which we're gonna drop immediately because that's very unbear-like. In fact, we don't know how to use a spear. We, uh, we're we we're a fighter with our hands and such. Um, unfortunately, I forget how to show uh, specifics. There we go, okay. So if you didn't miss the first episode and you really don't want to go back, here are our skills. Uh, you can pause and look at this if you'd like. I can throw it into true type mode. That way we maybe have less uh, comped, comped, dance skilled, skilled. Yeah, I was thinking maybe that would kind of get rid of some of the shortenings of some of those words, but um, yeah. And we are undistracted, apparently, by a lot of things. Unfettered. Oh, I see. Okay, so these are some of our needs and things. We have, we, our goal is to see the world. So we have a wanderlust. We need to get out there and wander around a bit. And uh, we'll see how maybe these things change in the future. We can also uh, view our attributes. So high strength, we're a bear. High creativity, we're a dancing bear. High kinesthetic and spatial sense helps with dancing. Uh, toughness, endurance, we're a bear. And obviously, um, that's interesting. Okay, so these are our, our skills, but the, oh, competent. <laughs> but what does that mean? Competent, the intricate flower? Anyways, that's confusing to me. But we embrace poetry, apparently, and we're skilled in the berries of luxury. What are these words, and what do they mean? <laughs> if you know, throw it in the comments. Otherwise, uh, that's good. We got a description here. We're just a bear with black hair and burnt skin. Okay, let's get out of here, and let's start moving along and see what a bear can do. Oh, hello, Mr. Goblin Mechanic Guy. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm looking at my inventory. Um, and I'm going to drop my copper spear. I'm also going to drop my large copper dagger. Because I'm a bear. I made it where I can't read and I can't speak. Or at least I took linguistic ability all the way down. But let's see if we can talk to this goblin siege engineer. You hate Ongo. I was hoping I would just grunt. So we're going to have to just kind of stay out of it a bit. However, we can begin a performance. And we are a dancing bear, so I think we should start by dancing. Wait, wait. There it is. There we go. Oh, we have different types of dances we can do. Excellent. So these are the ones we were taught by our trainer who we... We got a little mad and kind of ripped his intestines out through his mouth. Okay, so uh, the use in the quakes seems like a, a great example of the bewilderment of silkiness. Um, there's no particular subject here, but the choreography is masterful. And we will begin this solo performance that originated in the Wealthy of Plagues. And you can pause and read this at your own leisure. Performing, move to X. I can do that quite skillfully. Look at that, we're running around. And we got some people that are dancing, or not dancing necessarily, they're talking. We're not in a tavern or anything, but we decided that uh, uh, free to act, comma, period to continue. What does free to act mean? Okay, I don't think it's telling me comma gives you free to act, just period, we'll continue, okay. We are dancing well. That's excellent. Is there something to be happy about? So they're just kind of all talking. I'm just dancing around in a little 
thing here. Oh, we had a shameworthy dancing. More shameworthy. I was really hoping that we would. We're dancing well. Okay, well, let's stop dancing. By hitting enter, apparently. And, oh, once again, I meant to mention this in the first video, and I forgot. Um, if you know, I mentioned this in some previous video somewhere else, of something that could put my key presses just on the screen somewhere. Uh, obviously, I'll deal with that with my recording software, but something just, just very small that I could put in a corner screen that shows you what keys I'm pressing, uh, just so you can maybe learn by watching as well. I'd love to do that. I think you guys might enjoy that, and perhaps you would not. Okay, so we need to hit um, do something. If you move your, yes, we want to interrupt our performance. I do kind of want to look and just see over oh, unfettered means that we're actually quite okay. So we've, we've met the socializing need. We've learned something because we messed up a bit. Apparently we're still okay with our wandering and we've practiced our skill, which is great. And we're still a skilled dancer. So we haven't really moved up there. If we want to view our skills any closer, I don't think we can. Can we? Up, down, pages, nope. Um, that's a bit of a shame. Used to sh oh, wait. Maybe this is it. Maybe this brown stuff for some reason will show you uh, where you are. So maybe we'll get like a little green dot that moves across or something. We'll have to see. That's a new new thing for me. But uh, let's, uh, let's kind of get out of here. I wouldn't mind finding a tavern. There are lots of people over here to the left, it seems. So perhaps this is the tavern. I've got to see one. Quite a lot of goblins and stuff here. Once again, I also would like to uh, let you have you guys tell me what you think of this concept, uh, especially in the early videos. Let me know how much time I should spend potentially on um, this series. It wasn't really any... The concept here, if you did skip the first video, isn't necessarily to um, have a full adventure series out of this. We're just going to try some of the new things. So obviously dancing and stuff is completely new. The conversation system has been revamped. Um, we do have things like taverns and stuff as well and needs that need to be met and all, all sorts of stuff. So um, these are rooms. We need to find the main stairway and get the heck out of here. Oh, another room, another room. I'm feeling we should have gone back to where we were before. Of course, we could just lose our collective bear crap and attack people. But only if someone says something bad about our dancing. I think that'll be the trigger. And of course I, oh, maybe not. I thought I worked myself into a corner here. This is clearly just the room area though. So let's get up here or, oh, it's, it does keep going up. It's been so long since I played, I actually forgot that the X means up and down stairway. Okay, let's just keep on going up until we run out of stuff to do or run out of distance to go upwards. Okay. We got some stuff going on here, apparently. Is this another, looks like another level of rooms. This is gonna be a super boring video if I can't find my way out of this stupid fortress. Well, it's not a room, but those look like rooms. Um, I wonder if I could ask someone how to get out of here. Once again, we're a bear, so we're not going to talk. We also can't read. Okay, well. Clearly, this was not the direction I wanted to go. We're on the ground. Awesome. Someone pushed me to the ground. If I could find out who that was. It'd be bear food. Okay, come on. Need to follow the bigger corridors, I think. If I want to find a way out of here. Man, those little eyes in the dark. I understand the concept. 
but man, I think that they're boogeymen. Now, the interesting thing, I didn't actually show you the world I generated. I probably should have recorded that, but I was just messing around and trying different stuff. I did advanced world gen. There's some new options I hadn't run into in the past uh, when I had done it. Um, so, I've got a lot of talking over here. Maybe it's rooms, maybe it's tavern. I did see the stairway down there, the hatch. I don't really want to go down, I want to go up. Uh, but anyways, I actually made a fairly natural world. And what I mean by that is that I made it where boogeymen don't exist because I don't think boogeymen should attack bears as they're wandering around in the woods. The woods is my home. Another thing I did was I got rid of vampires and werewolves and all that. You can do that in advanced world gen. Oh, there's a downward stairway that's new. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have a fairly natural world that we are going to be exploring and living in, at least uh, to start with. Uh, once again, not intending this to be a full series. Holy crap, get me out of this place. Lots of talking down here. Might have found the tavern. Some sort of meeting area. The stray, clack, cl stray cat licks the goblin woodcutter. Where is this stray cat? Uh, up there, huh? Hey, cat, I heard you like saliva. I don't know where that went anymore. I was going to spit on him. Bypass greeting. I think it's in here. No, it was a skill. It's the um, X. Natural ability. Acquired power. Compose. Oh, we can compose our own choreography. We cannot read or write. Oh, we can butcher things. Apparently, we don't have the ability to spit. I'm pretty sure it was in here, which is a shame. We should have the ability to do something bearish, at least. Um, let's look on the ground here. What do we got? Okay, so we are someplace where we can buy something. I checked to make sure that it had the dollar signs next to it before I just took it or something. Um, so there's a good case to be made for this is the tavern. Um, I might have to look around a bit to find out where the tavern owner is to make sure this actually is a tavern. Because once again, I haven't seen a tavern. Potash. He kind of looked like a... Goblin hunter. Is he someone who hunts goblins? No. Okay. We need to move, apparently. We can't see very well in here. There's a guy down there that looks like he could be a tavern guy. No, he's an care animal caretaker. Maybe we know him. Maybe he taught us. Hmm. Someone's been crying. Well, if there is, if this is the tavern, the dwarfs and other travesties must be a engraving. Here we have the goblin dining. Oh, that's great. You don't have to look at it. It's at the bottom now. I love this. Here we have the goblin diagnoser by the dwarves and other... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was explaining whatever the heck that was. Dwarfs and other travesties is... It's a, oh, it's a book. I haven't seen books yet either, obviously. A marked site bound codex. There's writing the book, but we cannot read. However, we happen to know what the title is anyways. Okay. Anyways, fun stuff. Uh, here's a few more people. I'm going to look at them real quick. I really wish we could have just gone outside, but apparently we can't. Ooh, a fat cat. That's cool. A leather worker. Okay, well, there's lots of uh, exclamation points around here, so let's see if we can find. What do we got here? That's another book. That's a scroll, I guess, based on what it looks like. And we're on the ground again. And we're on the ground again. Stop that. Don't let people walk over you. Come on, 
Get me out of here. Well. We found a shop. I mean, it's a good start. I feel like we're on the economic layer. We just need to find the way out of here. I wonder. I've never tried following a map indoors. Um, I think there's a really good chance that it actually does nothing at all. Indoors. But I'm kind of tempted to try it. Unfortunately, I don't know what any of those symbols mean. Of course, getting out of here would be a pretty good idea since it's lagging fairly decent. And I just found a bunch of rooms again. Oh. Everything's to the north, and I just keep going south. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, there's so much talking over there. Let's see what's here. button. Never mind, we can't get there from here. Okay. Let's run. That'll lower the lag a little bit. There's less things happening for each time we do something. I actually don't know that to be true for sure. It's just a guess of mine. I'm half tempted not to even show you guys this video if I can't get out of here. It's already been 15 minutes. I might have to make just a separate one saying, hey, I wandered around the entire fortress and I couldn't find a darn thing. Get off the ground! Oh my goodness. There ought to be a way to... All these cats. I'm about ready to kill a cat, I can tell you that. What did that say? It's almost sounded like I pushed someone into the wall. Of course, we're on the ground again. Ugh. Hey! Oh, I found an underground cavern. And, um ramps which is a good start okay i'm gonna leave this episode here once again um i actually might make this a uh intro video as well and just throw it up for you guys um next video we'll get out of here that's my goal is to get out of this fortress quite a uh, quite a decent fortress and we may just go around and wreck havoc in the cavern as well um, but i'd love to find a, a tavern and i'd love to satiate our our satiate sate our wanderlust okay i can't even talk anymore let's end this here i will see you all in the next video Bye bye